I'm Dino, uh, I go by Dino is 22, uh, overclocker from Australia, marketing manager for Gigabyte, uh, been overclocking since 2000, maybe five. I have a degree in uh, commerce, marketing and hospitality management, uh, double degree. And uh, so yeah, I always kind of worked in marketing related roles, um, had my own businesses. I joined a forum and uh, started buying and selling stuff, you know. I guess tied us is the initial kind of motivation, but then you start to buy components that you don't really need, you know, and then you go, go oh, maybe this can go faster. And then you see this guy, there's like Eva 2000, this dude was a memory god. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the right expression, uh, expression, but he was like a, he was a world famous memory overclocker, local guy. So we all kind of started copying what he does. Start buying CPUs, uh, it, it just gets crazy. Then cooling is not good enough. Start going single stage, uh, cascades, dry ice. Then you get into TV appearances and NVIDIA is calling you to come to US and you know things start to explode. So yeah, it becomes interesting. I think my best moment in overclocking career, if you call it that, is, is uh, being recognized by a large motherboard manufacturer that I, that I have the ability to, or skills to help them develop their product to, you know, create something to, you know, to pull in my knowledge and uh, the networking to kind of improve on, on whatever that particular manufacturer was doing at the time. And, that really, you know, made me, they gave me the extra kind of bit of belief to try and really make something of it. And I think I'm kind of done quite well there, so. We've had, <laughs> uh, it, it, this is really weird. Overclocking is bigger and smaller at the same time. Uh, it's uh, big in the sense that there are a lot more pro, semi-pro guys guys that are high profiles, anyone that knows overclocking know who this guy is. These are people that are capable of putting together impressive scores, do the modding, understand uh, components, um, uh, performance, uh, like just top notch. But at the same time, there's a lot less of the followers that kind of aspiring community that I was as a new back in you know 2007 who were looking up to these guys that's kind of that carpet's being pulled under a little bit and so we kind of lost it I feel like there's a missing generation there somewhere and we need to repair that now I think HWBot's doing some work obviously I have the ability to influence or to work on that from my professional perspective globally and in my region. So we invest a lot of time to develop that, the communities, uh, and I see others do too, but there is a missing spark. We need to, we have some things we have to resolve now. We need to be, have a clearer future, I think, for everyone to kind of, whether that's competition formats or whatever, it's, it's very difficult. It's a very, it's not gaming, and it's much more complicated to have something concrete. So. I like some of the stuff that HWBOT's doing with the World Tour, I think that's an interesting idea. You know, we've actually, that is already happening worldwide, it's not a new idea. But maybe if they give it a, a, a you know, more recognizable concept where bigger players like Intel can kind of get behind it, we could uh, get to a stage where we could evolve into a better competition format, um, sit people down and like we were actually discussing it today and uh, uh, for example have a, an idea would be to for example have a Formula One style uh, competition circuit with a, with a very specific cars as in rigs, specific components, uh, serial numbers to be 
drawn or, or entered into a system so you can't bin, you have a one day lead time competition for example announced the 31st of May and 1st of June, you have to nominate your components to serial numbers. Uh, it's very restrictive in certain terms so that there's no golden samples binning money or, or you restrict those things. So maybe, maybe a good format. When got good format uh, uh, appears, I think that would kind of get the community going. You'll start to actually see a, a wider spread of people competing who, who thought people that didn't have a chance before or think that they don't have a chance, I have a better chance to kind of do something. So I think that would create a bigger community uh, and then eventually that would kind of help develop the community. But the other problem is in five years time, are we going to have overclocking at all? I don't know. The way the technology is evolving now, the way that you know big players are thinking about it, the way it's being integrated. <laughs> Are we going to have it? I'm not sure. Do it if you like it. Bugger off if you don't. That's as simple as that. You know, you, you, no one's going to motivate you to do it once you put an effort in. You're going to, you know, go, get the motivation to do it. No one can motivate you. You can only do it yourself. Start out with the local community. Start doing it with, with a group of friends. It's more fun. I love Computex. It's a uh, time to, I'm a, I guess you could call it a social butterfly. I enjoy seeing people um, that, are, that are old friends now. And I like Asia, I like the friendliness of the country, the hospitality. I like everything about it actually, the great parties and it's, it's awesome. And I think a lot of good comes out of these sort of events. You know, we kind of compare notes and we iron out some of the disagreements or all that sort of stuff so it's perfect.